Hi, I'm Stanley Curtis, uh, TRPA professor at CSU, and today I want to talk to you about practice mutes. So how many of you uh, are uh, wanting to practice at home, maybe especially uh, early in the morning or late at night, and the trumpet is very loud, of course, and you have problems with your roommates or with family members, and so it's very difficult to uh, uh, practice because of the noise. So you need a practice mute. Practice mutes make the trumpet sound a lot less. So normal trumpet with the practice mute. Much, much less, much more manageable. So the problem with practice mutes is that they're expensive. And if you're on a student budget, uh, practice mutes are sometimes out of reach. I like to practice on my Yamaha, <coughs> my Yamaha uh, silent brass trumpet mute. And to get this mute, you have to buy the electronics that go with it. I don't use the electronics, but you have to buy them with it. And so the whole package is around $170 right now. $170. Uh, you can buy a, uh, another kind of mute, like this really nice shh mute, and this will cost you $50. So let's try that out. Also very good. So, but what if you, on a student budget, don't quite have even $50? Well, I have a, uh, I have a way that you can make your own mute. Uh, so... We're going to start with an empty bottle, uh, 16 ounces or less, maybe 16 to down to 14 ounces would probably work. I like the shape of a Perrier uh, water bottle, so that would be a good one to find. So anyway, we're going to drill some holes in this bottle. Uh, of course, it's going to be empty, and we're going to drill a hole in the top here with a quarter inch drill bit, okay? So try to drill it relatively in the center of the of the uh, top. So here we go. All right. Same thing on the bottom. It's a little more tricky because of the the place where you want to drill is a little bit bumpy. You want to make sure that that's nice and rounded out. the bottom. We may do that again because what we're going to do is we're going to uh, insert a uh, straw in the bottom. So here's a, a typical straw. This straw is about a quarter of an inch or so in diameter. And we're going to snip off a little bit of this, maybe something about like four inches or so. Let's see if it goes in. Yes, it does. So, as we put it in, we're going to put a little glue. I have this uh, glue called Goop, but it could be any kind of all-purpose glue. So just put a little bit on the on the far side, the the last part of the straw that's going to go in. So we just do like this. Put it in until it gets right. There. Perfect. See that? Okay, well, how are we going to stick it into the trumpet? Okay, so see if you can find uh, some styrofoam handles that go on a bicycle handlebar. They are uh, completely round and they're made of a foam rubber. So we need to cut off about maybe uh, three quarters of an inch off the top. Something like that. And we're going to fit it to the top. I think you can put glue on this and it'll stick better, but it's very messy if you put glue on and try to stick it on here. And it might work just fine. Let me just see if I can get this on. It's a little bit hard.
Okay. I'm going to go get my trumpet and we'll try it out. Here I am again. Let's try it out and see if it works. It plays quite sharp, so you'll have to pull out a little bit. You hear that? So you have yourself a practice mute that will be relatively inexpensive. Good luck.